I'm gonna show you different ways to get smooth movement and scratch. When green fly click, or ever, says size, grab the size, divided by, and minus. So I'm gonna do 100 minus size, divided by 2. I'm gonna drag this all in here, too, and I'll just do, like, 500. If I change the size, let's go to right-click, duplicate. I'll go to, like, even, like, a 1,000 or something. If I do when this right-click, it's gonna bounce in and out really, really smoothly. So it's really good at smoothing out your scaling. And then I'm going to do, get rid of this, go to, minus, divided by, and plus. Now, mouse X, minus X position, plus X position, divided by by 12. And I'm going to right click duplicate and change all of this to Y, Y, and Y. And I'm going to put these all in here. And as you can see, it smoothly glides to my mouse, which is a very, very good addition. And I'm also using this in a video that's coming out soon. So, so subscribe and like to see the full video. And if you want it to be like smoother, you can change this like 25, for example. Now it takes a lot longer for him to get there, which is just a lot more smoothing. And now I have this here. I'm going to break it apart. So you're going to want to get timer times 300 into the sins of, which is down here, ab. You can click on that and change it to sin and then you're going to want to do times two plus plus zero and set that to the y so now if i go to that you can see that he bobs up and down really smoothly I want to change this two to a five he goes up to five pixels up and down which is a lot higher if i change that to 600 he goes a lot faster and the zero is just where he's placed so if i change it to 45 he's gonna go up 45 and if i get rid of this and i do point in direction i change this to 90 then you can see that he begins to wobble but obviously that's way too fast so i'm gonna do like 300 and three and now he's smoothly tilting. And that's the tutorial. See ya. Bye.